Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I already had it ready to reset because I don't know why I have. Do I need to like delete my cookies or something? Why is it always like loading? I I, I don't know if this is client side or server side, but um, okay. In any case, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And it looks like today I'll try to do another one if I do get through this way quickly. Today's problem is 452, minimum number of hours to burst balloons. I don't remember this one actually, but we'll see. So, okay. So you have um, a balloon horizontal diameter stretches. Okay. What does that even mean? Horizontal diameter. Okay, so I guess it's just like that big, right? And you can shoot straight up. So I guess it doesn't even have to be a circle. I was just thinking about a circle or a sphere, but then it just shoots straight up. Okay. So basically, more the points return minimum number of hours that must be shot to burst all balloons. Okay, so this seems like um, intuitively, it seems like it's greedy and sorting. Basically, the idea is that you have to shoot each balloon at least once, right? Oh, sorry. That. Uh, I mean, I phrased that a little bit awkwardly, but what I mean is that um, an hour has to go um, uh, through every balloon. I'm actually setting up my drawing pad right now, so in case you're wondering. So let me actually draw this out, because I think basically this is um, going to be greedy. Um, and basically the idea is that, okay, let's say, and it doesn't matter what the height is really. So it, I mean, they make it seem like a balloon and then, you know, and but really these are just, you know, line segments, right? I'm drawing the line segments very poorly, but uh, but now instead of a balloon, which uh, have a diameter, you have a line segment that goes through the, the, um, the width. And then of course, I guess part of the problem is that you have some balloons where they overlap, right? So you can think about it as line segments, as I said, uh, maybe I'll do it a little bit differently here. Something like this, something like this, and then something like this, and then, you know, dot, 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 right? Um, and of course, there could be more as well. So basically, the idea is that you have to go, you know, somewhere in here, somewhere in here, um, at least for each each balloon, which is now a line segment, we have to shoot it once. And there are a couple of ways you can think about this, right? Um, The way to think about it is that basically, and you could do it, and this there's a symmetry about it. There's nothing uh, inherently right about left to right or right to left, I think, um, which is that basically if you're going, let's say you're, you're doing a line sweep, right? Going from left to right. Oops, man, these lines are hard to draw straight. So going from left to right. Well, what is the last time that you can shoot this balloon, right? Well, obviously it's here, the right end point. And right, this one for this one and this one for this one. Unless, of course, the, these are already shot. For example, if we shoot here, then we already shot these two, then we don't have to shoot it again. So that's basically the idea for me to kind of go is that now, let's say sweeping from left to right, um, I'm going to delay shooting until I have to. And I have to because, because if I don't shoot, for example, if this balloon, let me change the color a little bit. If, if for this balloon, if I don't shoot it here, then going from left to right, then I really, like, I have to shoot it there, right? Otherwise, you're not, you, you need to hit that balloon. Okay, so given that idea, then, um, yeah, I think that's really it. I think it's just a lot of bookkeeping, and you can do this in a number of ways, but I'm just going to... Um, do it by uh, do it by showing you how I, I'm gonna code it, right? So okay, so let me see. The way that I always write sweep lines is a little bit different than some people might do it sometimes. Um, the way that I think about it is as you're going from left to right, you have these events, right? And the, and for this particular problem, there are two type of events. Uh, one is the big the beginning of a balloon event, and then the other one's the end of a balloon event. And then try to figure out all the cases that deals it together. And they, and after that, they act kind of independently, but not perfectly, as you will see. Um, okay, so, okay. So I think, I mean, I, I don't want to over explain the rules, because I think there are a lot of edge cases, or maybe not a lot, but a few, but we'll go for it in code, just because I think, 
um, as I go over in code, I think it, otherwise I feel like I'm, I'll be doing it twice and explain it. So web events, and then now for, you know, start and in points, I, I, so we have two types of events, right? Like, as I said, we have the start event. Um, and we always want to start by X. That's why it's the first element. Uh, let's just say type zero for start. You can maybe even enum it. Um, yeah, because basically if, so th the way that I think about it, so I, I'm pausing a second here because um, uh, it matters actually what you assign to these, not the, the, the actual value, but the relative value, because you want to sort by one of these. And the way that I think about it is that I want start to happen, like given the two balloons have the same thing, a start, a one has a start at the same X and one have the end at the same X, which one do we want to do, right? Well, we want to process the start first so that when we process the end and, and shoot the arrow, then it also gets the beginning. So that's why I want to put start first. Um, and then I actually should put an index here um, for a reason that you will see in a second. And that's just the index of the balloon, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's right. Okay. So then now, of course, after that, now you want to process them from left to right. So then you sort them. Like I said, I think th these kind of problems you can do in a couple of ways. Um, I think the way that I do it is a little bit different in general. So that's why I'm slowing it down to explain. Um, because I think people would probably maybe do it with DP or something. I don't know. I, 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 I like this way of thinking about it. Um, it, it's a little bit, but, uh, Okay. Um, yeah, so basically after now we sort from left to right and then now we have all these events, right? So then now we have for uh, X, T for event type and then index in events. Then what happens, right? Well, let me, let me also keep track of another thing, which is maybe um, mm, eh, naming things is hard because especially since I want to name things in a way that is clear. But let's just say intersecting, maybe intersecting. I hope that's right. And then let's just make it an array for now. Maybe we need a better data structure. I think array should be okay. But basically, now if t is equal to start, then we don't care about the x really, to be honest. Um, we might not even care about the X in the other case now that after we sort it, to be honest. But now we have index. So now we know that as we, if we shoot the, 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 um, the arrow, yeah, we shoot the arrow now, then it would intersect with this index. So that's basically the idea. Um, yeah, intersect at a pan index, right? And then now else if, Uh, t is equal to n, right? I mean, th that's usually just the else, really, because it, it's the only thing, but I just want to write it out. I have to think about this for a second, actually. Um, then now, I guess the two places, right? Um, let me actually, I think one thing that I forgot to think is maybe like, you know, uh, burst or something. It's you go to force times n, where n is the number of points. And then now, because the thing is that basically you have two scenarios, right? One is you have to shoot this because there are balloons that are not bursted yet. Or this, not, not other balloons, but just that this balloon hasn't in this, uh, bursted yet. So if if not bursted of index, then we have to shoot this because this is the last chance we get to shoot this. Um, yeah. And then now if if we then now we shoot this X, right? And then that means that everything that is intersecting, 
will now get bursted, right? So, oh yeah, we have to keep track of shots. Shots is equal to zero. And then now uh, for, I don't know, index two in intersecting, uh, bursted of index two is equal to true, right? And that's pretty much it. Oh, and shots fired. <laughs> Otherwise, and we, we did a little bit of double negative, so it's my fault. But otherwise, if it is, um, uh, the double negative actually confused me a little bit. Okay, so now if it is not bursted, or if it's already burst, then we just contained you, right? Because it means that some, we already shot this in a previous shot. So I guess we don't need an else container. Maybe that's why I thought about it that way. At the end, we return shots, and I think we should be good unless I missed a case. Um, yeah, so it looks good here. How do mosquitoes in my... It's like... Eh, I guess it's warm in New York. I don't know. It's very weird. Uh, anyway. Yeah, let's give it some mid. Hopefully I didn't miss a silly edge case. And it's taking a while judging. Wow, I solved this three times. Or I guess twice. One. Man, I thought this was last week, but I've always... I. I've been forgetting that 2022 is last year. So, yeah, how did I do it last year? I guess I did it the same way. Hmm. Uh, okay. I guess I added a couple of shots. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the same idea. Um, yeah, so I guess I did the same way. But yeah, so what is the complexity, right? Hopefully I explained this a little bit uh, better than last time. But what is the complexity? Well, the sorting is going to dominate and the n times two element, so this is going to be n log n. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else is linear time, linear space, and everything, right? So this is linear space. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if, you know, the way that I did this is interesting to you. Um, I, I feel like I always do it differently. Is the DP solution? Did I do a DP? No, I guess I did it the same way every time. But um, I feel like there is a DP there. Eh. Sort and greedy. Maybe not. Maybe they just call it greedy. Uh, all right, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. Remember, I'll do, it, I'll do an extra one today. So check that out. Um, yeah, I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.